This is going to be a short lesson on ghost notes. How do we work on them? What are they? And how do we make them better? First two things. Question of the lesson is, what's your best time of the day to practice? It's different for everybody. So is morning better for you? Is evening better for you? Are you fresher in the morning or evening? Maybe afternoon's better for you. Put it in the comment section below, and let's start a discussion time about the best time of day to practice or the time that you prefer. The second thing is, is we're doing updates to the website, and by the end of the week, the complete vault, complete 400, over 450 half-hour lessons on there with sheet music will be all iOS compatible. So any iPhone, iPad, i whatever, as well as any other mobile device, you'll be able to view the complete lesson on there, as well as view the streaming lessons on any of those devices. So I'm excited about that. We've already been mostly uh, to that point. Point, but the rest of it is getting changed over this week. So I'm pumped about it. Now, this next downloadable series that I'm going to be doing is going to be on ghost notes. And that's at your request. You guys requested that I do one on, uh, on ghost notes. And it's going to be pretty extensive. This is a groove from that. And it's called the Gozer. Now, if you don't know what the Gozer is, you need to look up Ghostbusters. I named all of these exercises uh, kind of unique things to have to do with Ghostbusters or myths about ghosts. So they're kind of fun names. But this one's called the Gozer. And it's just a simple groove that's going to help you work on ghost notes. It is actually only two beats long, and that repeats, and that makes one bar. All right, so let's get to it. We have eighth notes on the hi-hat, two and four accented on the snare. Now, ghost notes are those notes that are heard, but they're not really heard, kind of like a ghost. It's there, but it's not really there, right? And so the, the ghost notes, they're heard, but they're not meant to be all the time audible, all right? They're, not, they're more made to give your groove a 3D effect. That's what they're for. So I'll demonstrate some ghost notes. First, I'll play it without ghost notes. Then I'll play it with ghost notes. This would be without. You notice the difference there? The first one, there was no volume variation between the, the primary note as far as the accented backbeat and the ghosted notes. The second one, I took those ghost notes way down. So this is a different type of practice. And so as drummers, too often we practice like, how fast can I play? How impressive can this be? When really we spend 99% of the time playing groove. So why don't we work on that, making our groove deeper? So for this exercise, I want you to focus on one thing and one thing only, not speed, not dexterity. I want you to focus on how soft can you get those inner beats? Like, I want them barely audible. I want you to be hitting the snare so light that you can barely hear that, and then bring those, those back beats out. So we have eighth notes on the hi-hat, two and four on the snare. The ghosted notes on the snare are going to be one E and, and then also three E and, and then of course backbeat on two and four, and the other ghosted notes are gonna be two E and. The kick drum is going to come on and fill in the other 16th notes that the le that this left hand snare is not filling in. So it will play on one, the uh of one, and the uh of two, as well as three, the uh of three, and the uh of four. Remember, this is just a two beat groove. So one e and a two e and a one e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. Again, the focus is not how fast we can play, but it's how clean and how soft we can get those inner beats. So you can get the, the, the groove up as fast as you want, but if you, if you increase in speed and you sacrifice the volume or the softness of your ghost notes, then you failed at this lesson, okay? That's just kind of where we're headed with this. It's a different type of practice. And you can get it all the way up to speeds like this. A real short lesson 
on ghost notes. What are they? How do you work on them? Again, this is just one exercise out of tons that I will be included with the downloadable package. It's called the Gozer. And as always, don't forget, we got a seven day free trial on the website for the live lessons. Jump in at any time or I'll see you here the next time I post or I'll see you on my weekly free email lesson that I put out that you can also sign up for free on my website. Talk to you soon.